I'm now ready to add in my chords. So I'm going to add in a new track. I'm going to keep this simple and just use the piano. So I'm going to go to Halley and Sonic SE. I'm going to click Add Track. And then it will load up a screen that should by now be fairly familiar to us. So once that's loading, there we go. So at the top, I'm just going to click on here and I'm going to search for piano on this side of my screen. Um, you can choose any piano sound. I'm just going to stick with being nice and safe, just a nice acoustic grand piano. Double click, it will appear in this space here. And then if you click the keyboard at the bottom, you'll have the sounds. Perfect. So we're going to call this chords. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write in my chord, uh, my G minor chord, just like straight as it were, so G, B flat, D. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a sus2 chord. So I'm going to take that B flat and just wiggle it down to an A. And then I'm going to wiggle that A back up to a C. So the middle note is always the one that changes. The outer two notes don't change. And then I'm going to go back to my original chord to make a four bar chord sequence, just basically from one chord. So using my pencil tool, I'm going to just create a four bar field, four bar region. And then we're going to go into this. I'm going to find G. That's a F. There we go, G. So I'm going to, with my pencil tool, I'm going to fill up a whole bar. So between the two whole numbers, I'm going to have G and D. Um, so let's find that D. Here we go. And then just to save us some work, I'm going to scroll out a little bit so as we can see it's a bit better. Um, just to save us a little bit of work too, I'm just going to repeat each of those four times because the only note that we're moving is the one in the middle. There we go. And again, just down here. Perfect. So we're going to start off with my original tonic chord, as you see it in your book. So if you're on using the key for E minor, make sure you pick the E minor one. But I know for mine that mine is B flat. Now, A sharp in... Um, uh, in Cubase words is basically B flat, it's the same, it's what we call an enharmonic. So I said I was going to wiggle it down, so I'm going to create my sus2 chord just there. Then my sus4 chord, so my um, bottom note is, sorry, my middle note is going to move up one note from its original, so where, where that B flat was, it's just going to move up the next note of the scale to the C, and then I'm going to go back for my original part there. I'm just going to quickly tidy, that's all tidied, uh, tidy all of this up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start to arrange it. So I think what I might do is I might just have my pedal note playing first and then I might have my drum beat starting to come in. Let's do that six times say. And then I'm going to have my chords come in just after that and we'll repeat those a couple of times because we're going to need them. Um, and repeat my pedal note uh, let's go three times for that one and then from here on this is basically what we should have for how this is beginning to develop. Good luck. <laughs> 